Okay, guys, um, we're gonna talk uh, some advanced calculus. Okay, today we're gonna prove together the Bolzano's theorem that states every bounded sequence has a convergent subsequence. Okay, guys, we know what is a bounded sequence. We're not gonna go talking about bounded sequence but let's take a bound let's take a bounded sequence okay let's start let's un be a bounded sequence there exists an interval a1 b1 such that a1 is less or equal than un or less or equal than bn for all n either a1 the interval a1 a1 plus b1 over 2 or the interval a1 b1 over 2 b1 contain infinitely many terms of the sequence u sub n that is there exists many n and j such that is n the interval a1 plus b1 over 2 b1 okay if the interval a1 a1 plus b1 over 2 contains infinitely many terms of this sequence un let's is the interval a2 b2 equal to the interval a1 plus b1 over 2 otherwise let's the interval a2 b2 equal to the interval a1 plus b1 over 2 b1 either the interval a2 a2 plus B2 over 2 or A2 plus B2 over 2 B2 contains infinitely many terms of the sequence UN. If the interval A2, A2 plus B2 over 2 contains infinitely many terms of UN, let's another interval we call a3 b3 equal to a2 a2 plus b2 over 2 okay guys otherwise let's the interval a3 b3 equal to the interval a2 plus b2 over 2 b2 so by mathematical induction we can continue this construction and obtain a sequence of interval like a sub n b sub n such that for each n the interval a n b n contains infinitely many terms of the sequence u n or secondly for each n the interval a sub n plus 1, b sub n plus 1 is a subset of the interval a sub n, b sub n. And lastly, for each n, b n plus 1 minus a n plus 1 is equal to half or it's equal exactly to one half time b n minus a n. Okay, the nested intervals theorem implies that the intersection of all intervals, like a n b n, is a single point of u. Notice that this this is exactly the nested interval theorem implies that the intersection of all the intervals a n b n is a single point of u. We will now construct a subsequence of UN which will converge to U. Okay, guys. 
since the interval a1 b1 contains infinitely many terms of the sequence un there exists k1 and j such that uk1 is in the interval a1 b1 since the interval a2 b2 contains also infinitely many terms of the sequence un there exists another k now we call k2 still and j that k2 is greater than k1 such that uk2 is in the interval a2 b2 since it the interval a3 b3 also contains infinitely many terms of the sequence un there exists another k that's k3 and j where k3 is greater than k2 such that uk3 is in the interval a3 b3 okay guys continuing this process by induction we obtain a sequence that UKN such that UKN is in the interval A and B N for each N. The sequence UKN is a subsequence of the sequence U sub N. Since KN plus 1 is greater than KN for each N. Since a n converge to u and a n is less or equal to u n less or equal to b n for each n the squeeze theorem implies that u k is converged to u i hope guys you understand the pool you enjoy the pool and see you next time for another one Thank you.